Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? Early on NBA 2K24, a lot of people are making these smaller athletic bigs, but I've been playing some rec, and when I go up against a 7'3 max wingspan, inside glass cleaning, rim protecting, post scoring, paint mashing center, they have been tough to handle. They are putting up 25 points, 25 rebounds. Today, I got you guys with one of those builds. Now, let's talk about it. So, starting in the defense, if you can get gold anchor, you know, 92 blocks, 70 seven interior defense nobody is scoring on you in the paint you may be wondering do i need 99 block do i need a hall of fame anchor you do not you are going to stop everything as long as you got that gold anchor especially with an eight foot one wingspan seven foot three center when it comes to the rebounding we go 93 on the offensive board. We have the defensive rebound up to an 80. Usually you upgrade the defensive board higher, but with a build like this, you're going to be in the paint a lot. So you're going to be just eating offensive boards. You're going to have the power forward on your team to help with the defensive boards, and you still get the gold rebound chaser. This is everything you need to get 10, 20, even 30 rebounds a game, especially with the way people are shooting at the start of this game. When it comes to the physicals, you want that 90 strength on all your big men to get that gold and movable forcer. It's going to help you also get badges like bag down, punisher, brick wall. You need to have all the vertical you can. You're going to be super tall, and if you have that vertical really high, you're going to be able to jump like crazy for blocks, for rebounds. A lot of people like to lower that to save attribute points, but trust me, it's not worth it. Definitely max it out. Out when it comes to the finishing you got a nice mix of close shot standing dunk and post control everybody has their preference whether they like to post hook whether they like to just mash in the paint with the close shot whether they like doing drop steps post spins back downs depending on what you like to do the most you can kind of change these attributes around to make one better than the other now i will say in the standing dunk i got it at an 81 that gets you the silver rise up and the 80 standing dunk is going to give you the pro contact dunks for the big men you cannot get the elites at 90 standing dunk because of the vertical on this build that is why i don't have it to 90 you still could but i wanted to put those attributes elsewhere now i have the driving dunk higher than you would imagine the reason for that is at 65 driving dunk and 80 standing you're going to be able to get the dwight Howard dunk package and I will show you guys it is ferocious you see this build is compared to Will Chamberlain Rudy Gobert it's gonna be a type of build like that like I was saying that I'm gonna show you guys just having some driving hook on this build gets you that crazy athletic Dwight package and whenever you're seven foot three doing these ferocious athletic dunks you will not believe it people are not gonna believe that you're seven three and a lot of them won't upgrade their driving dunk at all, so they're going to miss out on these packages. The Shaq package is also a good one. It's only 55 driving dunk if you don't want to have the 65 for the Dwight. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. I highly recommend it. I feel like any big men I put the Dwight Howard dunk package on, they start dunking a lot better. You start getting more of those contact dunks under the rim. You see, there's a whole bunch of other standing dunk packages you're going to get. Of course, you need to equip the pro standing contact dunks. I've seen players make a build with a high standing dunk, and they don't actually put any dunks on don't be that guy this is going to help you out so much and it's going to be a lot of fun when it comes to other animations for this build i will show you a few when it comes to the post hook the joel and b post hook is so overpowered it gets you crazy amounts of space so if a center is just sitting under the rim on you you can actually hit him with a hook now they have a thing called motion styles you can put on your player I don't think they do too much, you know. Some people are gonna think they do a lot. Other people are gonna think they don't do anything. But I put on the Dwight Howard motion style. I feel like I'm moving up court a little bit better. And with this build only having 47 speed, definitely try it out. See if you feel like you get up there a little bit faster. When it comes to the pass style, I've been really liking the Demonis Sabonis. So definitely check that out. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it definitely gets the ball down court and it doesn't have a lot of wind up animations. Other than that, as a big man, a seven foot three with no ball handle, you can put on a nice triple threat. I'm using the Joel Embiid right now. Let me know what you guys think of the build, what kind of build you guys have made. This is Tonic. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.